Hello, Virgo. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for the next two weeks for the sign plate, the sign of Virgo, whatever your placements are. Virgo. Okay, first of all, there is a ton of background noise right now. Okay, we got dogs barking, puppies crying, neighbors arguing, um, and home repairs going on. Um, it was either not do your video or understand why everything is going on at one time right now. It's because everything is going on at one time right now. If you are not, you, my dear, are about to be freaking busy and you're gonna have to be calm and continue forward despite what is going on around you. Night of area. <laughs> There is much to accomplish. Yeah, no kidding. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind, along with justice. Fight for justice and equality, rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. You have both someone's spirit side and physical side that is going to be a, a huge benefit to you. Very helpful to you, okay? Don't give up on what you're doing. Continue forward. It seems as though you have a ton going on. Now, you also have a lot of luck. And I say that um, because I said, okay, who should I do first? For some reason, I'm not supposed to go in order. So who, who is it that I'm supposed to do first? And I shuffled the cards and I said the first major arcana that comes up that's the sign associated with it. That's who I'll do first. The first card off the top of the deck was the Hermit card. Congratulations, Virgo. It's all yours. Okay, so you are winning something? Wow, Can check you out. Page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. You have won something. Three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. You have won something, my dear Virgo, whether or not you know it yet. Along with the Empress, oh my God. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So you have a lot coming in. This fell, um, two of autumn, bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs and an exceptional talent for multitasking. Thank God for that. All right, these fell, we're not keeping them, but the world is showing along with life experience. Honey, you have been through the mill and back, but the hard part is over. You have climbed to the top of the hill, and now you've just got to cut down a bunch of wood. You've got to cut, you've got to clear things out. You have so much going on. You've got a lot of work here. You've got a lot of responsibilities. It feels as though you have a new responsibility coming in. Life experience and release. The best way to move forward is to release the past. It's, it's over. It's over. The past is over. It is time for you to embrace the new because holy crap. Two of autumn. Same card. Same card that popped out. Bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple priorities or jobs and exceptional... <laughs> Talent for multitasking, that is crazy. Four of Autumn, manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help those who are less fortunate, along with the King of Summer, a rom romantic partner you can trust. Where did I put the other deck? A romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart and getting involved in cultural or creative endeavors. You are starting something new. Oh, you've got so much going on. Manage your resources wisely, okay? Be smart with your money. High Priestess with Empress. 
give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others, lavish abundance. Just because you have money coming in does not need you, mean you need to spend it. Just because you have money coming in does not mean you need to spend it, okay? Bring fun. Be, be lighthearted. You've got a lot going on. Don't take anything too seriously right now. Nine of fire. Don't give up. Again with the don't give up. Protect that which you, you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Continue to move forward. Six of earth. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debt. Be smart with your money. Okay? Um, a lot of you, it looks as though maybe getting a promotion, a new job. You're starting a new adventure. The world with the moon and the sun. Look at that. The world, the moon, and the sun. That's crazy. Crazy. You are shooting for the stars. You have decided that you are going to move forward. And you are doing whatever it takes. Okay. Excellent. We're not doing that. What's the, these two? Nine of fire and page of water. Nine of fire, again, don't give up. Protect what you've created. Now, that means don't let doubts or fears creep in. Have courage and believe in yourself. Do not allow anyone to tell you no. Most especially yourself. Page of water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. I think that you're going to be getting unexpected help. Um, if you have a romantic partner, I think that the dreamer, the fool card. Oh, seven of water. Complex decisions. Need to do research and stop procrastinating. Virgo, I'm going to tell you, um, you right now. I'm telling on you, you are a procrastinator, Virgo, and do you know why? It's because of self-sabotage. Stop with the procrastination. Six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Let the past go because it's just going to steal one of your cups. We went from the seven to the six, okay? So let go of that. Ace of cups, you're getting it back. And now we have a car alarm going off. You are going to be having so much happening. Abundance, three of fire. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make your long-term plans. Ace of water, falling in love or the resurgence of relationships, spiritual growth, and enhanced tuition, a new home. Things are changing. Things are changing rapidly. They hold on because, holy crap, you thought you were stuck and stagnant. And do you see what came up again? Do you see that? Again, nine of fire, again. Don't, that's the third time. Don't give up. Protect what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Along with unity. You're going to be getting different viewpoints. Don't stick to how things have been. Don't stick to the current rules. Dare to be different. Let your star shine. Seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Um, you're going to be learning a lot. Okay, Virgo? You're going to be learning a lot. Three cards, please. Thank you. Thank you. The sun. Holy crap. This is so powerful. This reading is so powerful. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. The world. Remember the sun, the world, and the moon popped out? I would just die if the moon came up next. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. And the eight of water. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. You know what theme keeps coming up again and again and again? I just want to see the next card. I don't know why. The star. The star, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. I had to pull it. I was told to pull it. Stay out of your head, nine of air. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. You know what? This is done. This is over with. That's what I'm getting. You are no longer expecting the worst. 
All right, let's look over what we got here. So we have the sun, the world, and I was told to pull the next one, the star. A desire to move on. You are moving towards your star. You are carving your new path. You are not looking back towards the past with regret. You are only enjoying today, looking forward with hope and optimism because you know you are on the right path. You are moving forward. That's why I had to pull another one. You are moving forward. King of fire with the empress. You know what you want. You know what you're going after. You have no problems with that. You are you. You are proud of you. You have desires and you are willing to do the work. You are putting the work in to make them happen. Three of Raphael, four of Odd. Look, we got the two, three, four. How about that? That's pentacles. Manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance, reasons to celebrate. You have money coming in. Do not get happy with your spending at this time, okay? Page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. Two of Autumn, bring fun into everything you do. You're going to be very busy. The sun, a happy outcome. Everything that you are taking on, do it with vigor and joy, and it will be a success. You have money coming in, you have resources coming in, you have help, you have luck, you have spirit backing you up. The Empress, King of Summer, you are taking action on what you want. You know what you want. You don't have a problem with that. Don't listen to any naysayers. Don't listen to the voice in your head that says no. Two of cups is popping out. Popped into my hand. Huh. Okay, there's a fool card. What's over? Nine of wands. Having to be defensive. You're not going to bother defending yourself. Don't bother defending yourself. Just do you. Just do you. Do what you need to do. Do you boo-boo because you're done fighting. You're done arguing. It's over. The arguing is over. Blocks are being lifted. The lovers. Um, if this is romance as well, holy crap. Three of pentacles and death. You're going to be coming together with different people, different situations. And you're going to be coming together with them in a new manner, all right? Things are different now. I don't know why, but things are about to be different. The Empress. Again, 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 again. Give me a minute. We're going to talk on that. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I just released a video. Um, to whom it may concern, Spirit says you're ready or something like that. Make sure you watch that, Virgo. Make sure you watch that. The Empress, she is joyful. She is abundant. She is pregnant with tomorrow. She never stops sowing seeds. She's constantly planting. She's constantly reaping the rewards. That is where you are getting to. You are planting, planting, planting. Ace of Pentacles, there's your seed. Ace of Cups, there's your seed. The Empress with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Oh my God. The Empress, the, the, the Sun, the World, the Star, Virgo. This is freaking amazing. The World. And all I can hear is the angel singing and you screaming hallelujah. It's about friggin' time. You are bursting forth. You are coming out of nowhere. Seven of Wands. Definitely watch that reading. Um, <laughs> you, you, you are bursting forward. You are, oh wow, Prince of Swords. You've got Spirit on your side with the Prince of Cups on the bottom. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. <sighs> Prince of Swords. Okay. <sighs> I'm excited. I am so excited. It's like I can't catch my breath. You've got so much going on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five of rods with the emperor. You are learning, you are practicing, you are moving forward, you are not giving up, you are understanding everything that you've been through in the past um, so that, what? 
Four of Cups so that you can release the past so that you can see the manifestations coming in now. Three of Cups. You have so many choices coming towards you um, because you are putting yourself out there. You are allowing yourself to be seen. You are busy. You are freaking busy. That's all I'm getting. Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. Getting information. Wheel of Fortune. Information is going to be coming in both from spirit and from the real world. You're looking over the past. You're seeing where you failed, why you failed. You have no problem with that because you are learning the lessons of the past. Six of Cups. You're learning the lessons of the past with the Five of Cups. And you understand why King of Rods, where you stopped, definitely watch that video that I just put out, okay? To whom it may concern, really watch that video. That's going to tie in with this really well, okay? Um, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords, that's Five of Swords. You have, you're, you're leveling up. You are leveling up. You're getting information both from spirit and from people. Wheel of Fortune, you are placing yourself on the wheel. You are seeing what you want. You have learned your lessons of the past. You don't have a problem with that. You are moving forward. Knight of Cups without regret. You are, you, you, you understand. Six of Rods, victory. You have new understandings, new clarities, new information, new people, new situations, new, 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 new. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. If, if it's love, it's amazing. If it's work, it's amazing. It's everything. This is everything. Virgo, you finally broke out of the stagnant, hard time. This is coming in for you. Grab it. Grab it by the short hairs and take a hold and charge forward. Okay. Wow. Wow. Exciting. Let's get you an advice card. All right. Hold on. Another deck. Another deck. More decks. Somebody once asked me a few times, they asked me, how many decks do you have? And I said about uh, 150 pounds. Okay. Destiny fell out along with puzzle pieces. You know what your destiny is. You have chosen your destiny, Virgo. You're choosing your destiny and you are figuring out everything is falling into place. Oh my God. Everything is falling into place, Virgo. Everything is falling into place. You are on the right path. You are on the right path. You are on the right path. Okay. Can, can, can we, oh, did you see that? Everything is coming into fruition. You are so busy, the child. You're being born again. This is welcome to your new life. Holy crap. Okay. One card of advice for Virgo, please. If, if, if puzzle pieces comes out one more time, I'm going to like totally flip. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Love that with union. Oh, are you getting engaged, Virgo? I'm just asking. Okay. One card of advice for Virgo, please. One card of advice for Virgo. One card of advice for... Is that it? Okay. Intuition. Use your intuition. Listen to your intuition. That's all this card is. Watch for signs, synchronicities. I'm told to take another one. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Spirit's going to be talking to you. You're going to be speaking union again. Look at that. You're coming into a new union with spirit. You're coming into a new union of all types. Wow. Queen of water. Twenty-two and thirteen. Twenty-two of the major arcana. Intuition. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. And did you notice that all of the background noise has stopped? So just do you keep moving forward, um, and everything will fade in the background. That's non sequitur. Okay. Twenty-two. 
intuition, signs, patterns, synchronicities, trust, mystery, and magic. Intuition is your sixth sense, the voice of your unconscious mind. Heed your intuitive feelings. Intuition skill born of practice. Pick the option that feels right. Strengthen your intuition. Tap into your senses. Make your best guess. Be both intuitive and rational. Watch and observe. Intuition or bad past experiences. Seek a second opinion. And then we have the Queen of Water. Da, 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 da. This is absolutely amazing. All right. 10, 11, 12, Queen. Loving, compassionate, empathetic, sensitive, vulnerable, romantic, intuitive, emotional honesty. Trust in your feelings and senses. Look beyond the surface, a bright and positive outcome. To show vulnerability is to show strength. Are you overextending emotionally? Be the embodiment in love, withdrawing love as punishment, and use your common sense. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for now. You know I love you. I hope to see you soon. And oh my God, what a reading. Peace to you. You know I love you. Ciao.